Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss about mole fraction. It is one of the unit used to express the concentration of a solution. It is the number of moles of component present in the total moles of all components present in a solution. Its formula can be given mole fraction of a component is equal to moles of component divided by total moles of all components present in the solution. If in case we express mole fraction in terms of solute or solvent in a solution, then formula can be given mole fraction of a solute is equal to moles of solute divided by total moles present in a solution or moles of solute plus moles of solvent. Well, Basically, this unit is used in phase diagrams or in calculating vapor pressure of gas mixtures in Raoult's law. Another important fact about mole fraction is that total mole fraction of all components present in a solution is always unity means 1. Let's say a solution has two components solute and solvent then total mole fraction of solute and solvent will be equal to 1. I can mention if solute is A and so solvent is B in the solution then relation we get xa plus xb is equal to 1 this is the relation we get from this fact well now let me take you to a practice problems in which i will show you how you can calculate the mole fraction of a component in a solution well the problem says that calculate the mole fraction of ethylene glycol its chemical formula is given in a solution containing 25% of ethylene glycol by mass. Here you can see that ethylene glycol is present by 25% and by mass. It means that uh, 25 gram is the mass of ethylene glycol and uh, percentage this component quantity is given in percentage means total quantity of the solution is going to be 100 gram. Now we can calculate uh, the quantity of uh, solvent water. Simply we can subtract 25 from 100 here we have 100 minus 25 is equal to 75 this is the quantity of solvent waters present in the solution now we have to calculate mole fraction of solute to calculate mole fraction we need to know the moles of solute and solvent we know the mass of solute and solvent we can convert this quantity into moles and then we can apply mole fraction formula well 25 gram is the mass of ethylene glycol we use molar mass to convert mass into moles. The molar mass of uh, ethylene glycol is 62.07 gram per mole. It means that uh, one mole has 62.07 gram mass. We can do the calculation. Gram gram will cancel out and you can see, divide these values. You will get 0 0.403 moles. And so this is solute. Now we can convert mass of water into moles here we have 75 gram and so molar mass of water it is very common it is uh, 18 gram per mole one mole has 18 gram mass gram gram will cancel out you can divide these values and so you will get a prox 4.17 moles h2o now we got uh, the required data now we can apply mole fraction for ethylene glycol here we have mole fraction symbol is x and so i put here its chemical formula c2 s6 and so o2 is equal to moles of uh, ethylene glycol here we have calculated already it is 0 0.403 moles and so at the bottom moles of ethylene glycol again 0 0.403 plus moles of uh, solvent here we have moles of solvent 4.17 moles same unit will cancel out here we have 0 0.403 at the bottom we have we can add up these values 4.17 and 0 0.403 here we have 375.4 the value which we get 4.573 now you can divide these values and uh, the value which you are supposed to get 0 0.088 this is the mole fraction it does not have any unit because moles moles are cancelled out you can see that how i calculated the mole fraction of solute in a solution by using mole fraction formula thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below 
For more updates on IIT JE or NEET exams, please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.